morning, brothers and sisters, again. Um, past today is the fifth week of the Gimana. With the first week, we explain what is Gimana, Sister Paru, and then the Brother Siang Chai explained about living in harmony with oneself, and followed by living in harmony with family by Sister Sandy as well as uh, Sister Budini. So we have learned a lot how to, how to connect with our family well. So today, I'm very happy and uh, thank you for the opportunity for me to share this living in harmony with colleagues. So, same thing we have learned, harmony, what is harmony? It's the combination of simultaneously sounded musical notes to produce a pleasing effect. A situation in which people are peaceful and agree with each other, or when things seem right or suitable together. Just like an, in an orchestra, if they don't play harmoniously, what will you expect? Haywire, right? Even the, the, the singers, the person who sing, didn't sing harmoniously with the musical notes. You can imagine, it will be very haywire and very piercing, piercing to the ears. But when it is harmony, just like our, you know, the, the, the last day of our togetherness after our Buddha day, you see, the last day, the singers, uh, the two sisters, as well as Brother Sri Lun, they were so harmonious. That's why it is not just the music, but it's the harmony. It's the, it gives us a sense of peace. And when you listen to it, even you don't catch fully what is the meaning, but the sense of harmony, the sense of peace actually gives us a lot of joy. When we listen to it, oh yeah, you feel so peaceful, inner peace arise. So this is, this is the result of harmony. It brings peace and it brings joy within us. And it, when it's within us, then it will spread to people outside us together. Yeah? So that is a situation when people agree together. So that will also bring harmony. Uh, in unison, in concord, yeah, that is a synonym, the words that's uh, um, same for harmony. So oneself, so same thing, just now I mentioned, Brother Siang Chai mentioned, it is very important to have harmony in us first. Whatever it is, we have to have the harmony before we can bring out the harmony for others. Harmony in Pali, avi roda. Vi roda. Vi roda is conflict. Uh, it's a contradiction, dispute. So avi roda, that means it's without. So if without dispute, without contradiction, that means we have calmness, we have the harmony. Right? So it is the smooth and pleasant functioning together of two or more parties. So looking at this, it is very appropriate for us to have the theme of Gimana as living in harmony. Why it is important? Looking at uh, this, uh, in the centre, we have the circle. We have oneself in the centre, we have out outside the circle, we have colleagues, we have family, relatives, friends, business, government, even government also, neighbours. So we are actually living interconnectedly with all other beings, whether it is our family, uh, of course our family is a first one, our family, relatives, friends, business coll colleagues, all this. So if ourself without any harmony, then it is very difficult for us to have harmony outside the circle. Yeah? So the theme of living in harmony is a reminder for all of us, especially during this period, reminder so that we can 
we can practice it even more diligently so that we is a um, continuously we will remind ourselves and continue to have this harmony within us and spread it outside the circle okay so the buddha said some of the things contributing to the progress of a society aparihaniya dhamma are the ability to meet together in harmony a journey in harmony and conduct business in harmony this is in anguttara nikaya 7.21 just like all of us just now when we came in we meet in harmony correct we have we are so harmon harmonious in our offering the puja during the puja uh, during meditation and even the chanting is so so unison yeah we all chant in unison i think the the friends in the zoom also you can feel it yeah so that is how we come in together in harmony and then we conduct business in harmony and end of the day after we finish this uh, session we leave in harmony we take leave from each other in harmony and with this harmonious feeling the the peace in us we continue our day and we will bring this harmony this peace back to our family or if you are meeting friends yeah so you will have this harmonious feeling with your friends yeah isn't it beautiful okay so in any true social development must therefore start with transformation transformation of each individual person so we start with ourselves first so even even the gurus ah motivation gurus ah for change change who first change ourselves first right so same thing yeah so here we have the um, additional additional uh, require not say requirements the qualities of spiritual transformation yeah. okay so how to have spiritual transformation and how to have this harmony within us brother siang chai mentioned in his uh, session he said start with mindfulness ah uh, yeah start with mindfulness if we practice mindfulness in ourselves and then we will have inner peace with this inner peace we have harmony in our nature we not just one time but because we always do it this harmony it becomes our nature once it is our nature it, be, it becomes our habit this with this habit right every time you will whatever you do right this mindfulness will come first and it will brings the inner peace and harmony and we will feel happy with this happiness the happiness will spread it is contagious yeah it is contagious and it will spread to others and when we when people say hey why are you so happy ah uh, brother suilun ah then you can share the dharma with them oh, because of this dharma that's why i'm so happy i'm mindful in my speech in my action in my thoughts that's why i am happy right with this happiness i spread you i spread around yeah and and you take opportunity to share the dharma and the whole environment the community the society uh, will be harmony will be will have this harmony within every one of us okay venerable tinya han he also said this in his quote huh? if we are peaceful if we are happy we can smile and everyone in our family our entire society will benefit from our peace is beautiful right okay start with ourselves we happy when you are happy you smile yeah now i cannot see your smile because of the mask but i can see smiling eyes when you smile even i don't see your mouth but your eyes will show yeah sister jadi is smiling yeah so when you see people smile how would you how would you react as is a pechi 
Uh, you will smile back, right? So when you smile, right, this insulin is in us, uh, and we will smile also. We will have this happy feeling. Yeah? And Sister, jo Sister Joanne smiled at me, right? I will smile back. And I have the joyful feeling. Oh, Sister Joanne is friendly. Sister Joanne is happy. I am happy for her. Yeah? So this happiness it becomes a, um, a, a contagious. Huh? It becomes contagious. So now, today, now we talk about among colleagues. How to live in harmony with colleagues. Who is a colleague? According to the Oxford Dictionary, it said, a colleague is a person that we work with, especially in a profession or a business. It's very normal when we say, oh, colleague. So straight away we think our company colleague, our business colleague, correct? Huh. Okay, so let us, let us continue with this colleague. In our stages of life, yeah, start from uh, age zero, right? Age zero until age 25, when you completed your university, who you spend time more with? Family, your, your, our father, mother, right? brothers and sisters, our siblings, and maybe our relatives, neighbours. So we spend time a lot with them. And uh, when we were in university, university friends uh, university colleagues because you work together in what in study right so to, uh, but i realize nowadays right uh, students completed their university very early 22 years old they go to work already like right? sister emily like sister emily's daughter 25 22 years old started to work so nowadays the the age is uh, shortened for children to go for uh, work. So, but this one general, huh? So, 26 to 60, it is our working life. During this period, parents, uh, children, after graduation, will go out to work and help with their parents. And during this time, their parents are still young, yeah? still during working age. So sometimes in a family, you can see father and mother, children all working. Morning, everybody leave the house and the house is empty, maybe leaving the dogs and the cats. And at night, everybody will be back. So during their working hours, who do we spend time with? Our colleagues. So is it very important? And from Every day, say eight hours, lah, huh? no need more. Eight hours with colleagues. And for how many years? Almost 35 years with colleagues. And this family is married uh, during that age. Uh, maybe a lot will be, will be uh, having their own family um, and then some friends. And these friends sometimes is also business friends. Right? Also, consider as colleagues. Right? And after 61, or oh, after retirement, golden age, you still have your family and your friends. But during this period, 35, I, I work for 40 years, so I have 40 years of colleagues. Different, different companies, different colleagues. Yeah? So this is very important. So is it important to have harmony working with them? Yes. Mm. So, is it important to have harmony in working place? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, may I have a show of hands? Who are still working? Wow, almost ninety percent, ninety ninety-nine percent. I will. I would like to working in office, right? A colleagues, right? As a car. Why? Every part is important. So, everyone in the company is important. In the working place is important. Just would like to share. 
two years ago, my car, uh, while I was driving halfway, and the car just broke down. Why? Two wires, was, uh, two wires were beaten by rats, Tom. Just two wires. Be the big car and two fine wires were torn. And the whole car just stopped. Imagine. So, that's why I liken the parts, the car, right, as the company. And every one of us work together. And we are all very important. So, to work harmoniously in the office is very important. And every component, every people, uh, everyone in the company, they are important. Recognize him? Yeah? Who is that, sister? Steve Jobs. Why I show? Why I show him? Yeah? Every one of us, I think a lot of us, right, have this, right? Huh? Steve Jobs changed the whole pattern of living with this innovative and creative mind. So we have these gadgets huh, to link people together. But it is not only him. Without his team of hardworking professionals and their abilities, his innovations would not have reached the hands of so many people around the world. True or not? So everyone is important. Everyone is not, uh, shouldn't be let out. And the harmony is very important. So what are the common characteristics of harmony among colleagues? Yeah, so let's see uh, what uh, we have here. Common goals, value system, knowledge, and skills and responsibility clearly defined. Common goals. When we work in company, what are our common goals? For the company to do well, correct? Company do well, then we will be well. Everyone will be well because we will be rewarded. Why do we work? Earn a living for our family, for ourselves, for the children's education. Right? So we have common goals. So with these common goals, Common goals of wanting the company to do well because company also have their vision and mission. Just like we all here, also we have vision and mission. So there will be vision and mission. And of course, the nature of business. And of course, earning money. Right? They have to do well. If not, might as well don't have the company. Right? That's why sometimes company, they do well. If they don't do well, they become bankrupt then they will be dissolved. So, every individual colleague of the company will work towards these goals. So, they have a common objective. They will, this will bring them together. Value system. They need to have an ethical, moral system. That means, do, some, do what is right, not wrong. Yeah, ethical and culture. Like just now we mentioned, when we meet here, we we pay, you know, we uh, greet each other, we respect, we anjali, we say good morning, right? So this is a culture also. I remember my uh, my um, when I worked in company, we have this culture, which was uh, initiated by my boss. When we greet every day in the morning or in the afternoon. Morning, we say, happy morning. Everybody come in, happy morning, right? Whether you are, whether you are boss or whether you are the worker or you are the executive or wh everyone. First thing, happy morning. So if we meet, because we work in a big, uh, in the, um, in a big building, so different, different floors. So when we meet, people or friends, right, in the leaf. When we hear the word, happy morning, then we know this group of members from which floor? It's our floor. <laughs> so that is our culture. We start our day with happy morning with each other. 
and if it's afternoon, then happy afternoon or happy evening when we, when we go off. Eh? So happy evening is we take leave from everyone. So that is our culture. Come in, we happy morning. Go leave also, we leave with a happy, happy heart and happy uh, wishing everyone well and we leave. And responsibility. Every one of us have our different responsibility in the company. Some may be legal, some may be manufacturing, or project, or sales, or finance, right? uh, development. So every one of us have different responsibility. And we know what our responsibility, what are our scope of work, what are we in charge of. So, it's very clearly defined and we know so okay oh sales department okay this is what you need to do yeah? your department you have to discuss what you need to do so that is the first one i will call this knowledge and skills and culture this section and the next yes some of you mentioned respect gratitude patience uh, kindness, someone mentioned caring, yeah, kindness, share, uh, caring, generosity, humility, and integrity. Yeah, sister mentioned that. So this part of it is related to our moral sila. Sila training. So if every one of us, kindness in our speech, kindness in our action, kindness in our thoughts, we always have this caring heart for, for helping another colleague. Uh, another colleague and everyone in the company with respect and gratitude. Yeah. So this sector, I will call it as SILA, morality in, our, in, the, in the members, in the colleagues. Yeah. And this will be equality, yeah? equal, appreciative. We are appreciative of other colleagues. Positive reinforcement, positive thinking, and interest in what we do. So that we don't have the negative feeling, Aya, so Sienna, I have to come back to work again. But every morning you get up, wow, I want to go to work. Quickly, quickly get up. Huh? Can I get out, yeah? I want to go to work. I want to teach the children because they learn something, yeah, sister? Helpful, yeah. Someone mentioned that, sister. Cooperative, motivating and supportive, as well as encourage, yeah? the courage to apologize. Sister Budini just now mentioned, yeah, when we, when we make mistakes, we can erase, right? Yeah. So this erase is by apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. I have done this wrong. Uh, I have said something not very kind. I apologize. That is encourage back the feeling of caring, the feeling of kindness. Yeah, we are human. So sometimes we do err. Huh? We do make mistake. So it's okay huh, to apologize and more important. Ask for forgiveness and never to do it again. And that is more important. Never to do it again. Courage to apologize. I would take this sector as our attitude towards the work. And this attitude will help in the harmony in working place. The last one. Meet often in harmony, just like all of us just now. So, openness, trust, sincere activities together. We meet often. So, in in the uh, like my last time when I uh, when I work, we meet every department. We meet once a month in in total. Okay, every department, and if by itself we meet once a week. That is fixed. And there are a lot of ad hoc meetings, a, a lot of ad hoc discussions. So sometimes things come out, you cannot wait one week later, you cannot wait a month later. So 
Today we need to solve, then today we meet. And we meet it with a common, a common uh, goal. Why do we meet? What is the objective we need? Or oh, maybe sometimes uh, have sales coming in, but the amount so big. Oh, finance, you have money, uh, can buy the materials. Uh, no? So, um, manufacturing department, the factory, right? Do you have enough stocks? Uh? So, all this we will come together on an ad hoc basis as well. So, this is very important. Meet often, but in harmony. Openness, of course, sometimes we will have some, um, you know, say, hey, you cannot last some little, little argument. But this is friendly argument in the sense of we want to meet the objective. Yeah. Openness, open communication, yeah, with, uh, with very uh, tr uh, trust, with a lot of trust and, sin and sincerity. Activities together. Why activities together? Get to know our, collect uh, our colleagues better. When we know our colleagues better, that is the time we have the bonding. We create the bonding, the friendship. Sometimes during working hours, everyone just busy working, uh, doing their own work. So, less interaction. So, sometimes we need to know our colleagues. In the, in, um, by knowing them, then we will have better bonding, better friendship, and all, not just the, the person, but beyond that, the family. So that will create a lot of, a lot of uh, good relationship, a lot of fellowship and understanding. Last time um, when I worked, right, we used to have annual activities, sports day, annual sports day or annual family day. Family day, we will have all our families together. Okay? And then this annual sports day, so we will have sports together. Uh, we will have running, uh, we will have uh, squash, uh, table tennis, you know, even the swimming, uh, we will have together. It's a friendly fellowship day. Yeah, so activity. So during that day, right, you can see here, right, you don't know who is boss, who is the the um, the worker who is the executive or who is the the norm the, you don't know because everyone is just equal on that day equality equal so we come together and uh, last time when I work with my this company my boss was uh, Australian Australian. Every, uh, every month, he would call for a dinner. Uh, a dinner for everyone. Every department, workers, factory, everyone will be, will be um, um, assembled at his house. We will have dinner together. The dinner, maybe we will have the fellowship together, understanding. We will create a lot of understanding. That is how he created this uh, fellowship activity for us to know. So sometimes we don't see even people, the workers in the factory. But through that, we get to understand them, we get to know them. Yeah. So it's better, it's very important. So when we have uh, urgent needs, uh, eh, help, la, help, la. Okay, no, this one very important. Easy or not? Easy. Because why? The, friends, the friendship is there already. So there is no arrogance. Uh, now, uh, like how more? Uh, uh, no, don't have this. Okay, we have the objective for the company, for the people together. Then we will just do it. It's just like a big family already. Ah, uh, dinner, yeah. So like this one also, harmony, yeah. <laughs> it's a grouping together, harmony, yeah. Mm. So I would like to call it the four pillars uh, in order to have this, uh, to create this harmony among f colleagues. Uh, um, knowledge and skills, uh, culture, the morality. Morality starts from each and every one of us oneself. The attitude 
and know you better. So by knowing you better, all these will be working well together. So let's see what the Buddha advised to us, or, or to the monks first, huh? to the monks. Huh? What the Buddha advised the monk to have harmonia, harmony, to harmony, harmonious community together. In this Saraniya Dhamma Sutta, conducive to amiability, Anguttara 6.12, this is what the Buddha said. He advised the monks, monks, these six are conditions that are conducive to amiability, that engender feelings of endearment, engender feelings of respect, leading to a sense of fellowship, a lack of disputes, harmony, and a state of unity. So, which six? Yeah, because during the Buddha's time, monks also lived together. So, very important to have harmony among the monks. Yeah. So, these are the six. You say, bodily acts of loving kindness, goodwill. Verbal acts of loving kindness, mental acts of loving kindness, generosity, virtues, and dwells harmoniously with right views, privately and openly. Virtues also openly and friendly. That means when the it is important to have um, goodwill, loving kindness, verbally. Uh, kind thoughts, uh, kind speech, yeah, gentle speech, body actions, no harm, uh, no, no ill will, uh, and uh, mental acts, the thoughts of non ill will. Yeah? The bodily acts, in the, no harming, yeah? no killing, uh, no, don't, uh, don't have um, unwholesome action. Generous. Generous in what sense for monks? It means when they go out for alms food, uh, alms round, they bring back the food, they will share. Instead of they take everything, they will share among all the monks. And generous also in terms of working together to maintain uh, the cleanliness of the, um, of the monastery or the kuti or the place of living. And virtues, virtues of kindness, uh, uh, of um, uh, upright and openly and privately. When I privately means uh, I tell I tell to in front of you, uh, in front of you, I say nice word, nice words to you. Yeah, I do nice things. But behind behind you, I say the opposite. Uh, then that is not right. So here it say privately and openly. When I say nice to you in front, at the back I also will praise you. Yeah, I won't say, uh, the, uh, will not say opposite words. Yeah? That will create misunderstanding and schism as well. Dwells harmoniously with right views. Understanding the Dharma, okay, and also understanding the abstaining, uh, um, abstaining from um, sensual pleasure, right? abstaining from ill view, um, abstaining from non cruelty. So, this openly, they will say the same thing. Behind, also they will say the same thing. You know, always will have the right view in front and behind, and um, openly. Okay. So in this sutta, there is another sutta also. It says, uh, Bhikkhu Apparihaniya Sutta, conditions for no decline among the monks. Yeah. Lead to no decline. So, which are the seven conditions? First thing is say, meet often, meet a great deal, just like what we mentioned just now for colleagues. Two, meet in harmony, conduct business in harmony, and adjourn meeting in harmony. Undertaking the training rules for the monks as they have been decreed. The rules are already there, so. We, the monks will follow the rule and don't go to change the rule and follow other rules. Right? So that is what it's, what it's mean. 
honor, respect, venerate, and do homage to the elder monks, the elders, yeah, elders by age, elders by dharma, so uh, venerate. Do not submit to the power of any arising craving, craving for food, craving for sensual pleasure, or craving for any unwholesome. See their own benefit in wilderness dwellings. That means they are, they are um, um, seclusion, they are living in seclusion. So they know the benefits of it. And keep firmly in mind the welfare, uh, the welfare of fellow members. I want to be good, so I also keep in mind, I, I um, no, would like the other monks, the other uh, friends to be in, uh, in, uh, happy, to be well. Yeah, so that is what it means. So seven, these seven conditions will lead to no decline. In this case, it is among the monks. So likewise, the harmony or the no decline also will apply hmm, to colleagues in the company as well. Okay, let me ask a question. Are we colleagues? Are we colleagues? Yeah? Colleagues in what business? In service? In what profession? We are all colleagues, correct, yeah? We are Dhamma Dutta colleagues. We are, we are service, yeah? We are, we are volunteers. We are volunteer colleagues. And we are also Dhamma Dutta colleagues because we learn Dhamma. And we, know, we, we get to know, we have the benefits from the Dhamma. And we share the Dhamma. We are part of Dhamma Dutta. So all of us are actually Dhamma Dutta colleagues. So is it very important for us to live harmoniously together? Yeah, we are also colleagues, huh? right? So how is this applied to us? This Sutta advice from the Buddha, Saraniya Dhamma Sutta so that we can have the feelings of endearment, feelings of respect, feeling of a sense of fellowship, lack of disputes when we work together, uh, work in harmony and state of unity. It can be like here, we are together learning the Dharma. We are here together volunteering afterwards, yeah? we will clear this place. And some of us will be working in the office. Some of us will be maintaining the building. Yeah, the, the building. We don't think, oh, I'm just um, clearing this, cleaning the floor. But it is for the learning of Dharma for everyone. So no job, no work is little. It's not important. It is important. Every part, just like the car mentioned, just like the car, every part is important. Even two wires also, it will break the whole car. Right? So imagine if a gear or battery, yeah? Battery flat, what happened? The car just flat also. Right? The car also cannot move. So same thing, every individual part, every individual person, yeah? Volunteer. It is very, your presence here, your service here is actually very important. It is very essential yeah, to have this Dhamma dude, so that the society, in this case, we are talking about Nalanda society, we will be able to provide this platform yeah, for learning of Dharma and practice of Dharma to many, many friends to many, many people here and outside as well. So for us, bodily acts of loving-kindness, verbal acts of loving-kindness, we speak 
nice uh, good words, encouraging words, mental acts of loving kindness. We always think goodwill for all our friends, no non ill will, uh, non cruelty, as well as we are generous. Yeah, generosity, uh, virtues. We keep our precept. Uh, we keep our precepts well, and how. Uh, have this right view, yeah? right view of learning the Dharma, uh, understanding the Dharma, understanding the law of karma. When we do good, good will come to us. When, uh, when, I, was, um, when I was working, I used to employ new graduate or new, new um, uh, new graduates, uh, uh, new graduates without any experience. Whereas sometimes the company say, no, this position we need to have uh, experienced people. But I always give an opportunity to the new graduate without experience. Because why? I think back, my bosses in the past, they, give me, they gave me opportunity. When I was a uh, new, new fresh, fresh graduate, Without any experience, they gave me opportunity to work. They gave me opportunity to learn. So I think it is for me to you know, give an opportunity to others as well. And also in that, that next time my children, when they come out to work, the bosses will give them the same treatment as well. So it's a law of karma working. Right? Law of the universal law yeah, that, that is working. Okay? And in this Kosambiya Sutta, yeah, Majima Nikaya 48, the Buddha also mentioned the same six conditions. In this Sutta, what happened was there was um, big arguing, arguments, conflicts, disputes among the monks. So when the Buddha was informed, he, he asked them, trying to um, reconcile and trying to get them back. That means no quarreling, understanding, and uh, no quarreling and no dispute. The Buddha also shared the same six conditions to them. But this, some of the monks, right, they are very stubborn. Huh? They are very too strong in their views. So the Buddha left. Buddha left, and as he walked, he walked in the forest, and he, he came to the place, uh, Gosinga Park, where his cousin, Venerable Anuruddha, and his two friends, Venerable Kimbila and uh, Venerable Nandiya, yeah, three of them were staying there. And when the Buddha reached the gate, the gatekeeper actually stopped him. He couldn't recognize the Buddha, so he stopped him. He said, uh, Venerable Sir, um, please do not enter. The monks here, they stayed very harmoniously together. Please do not come and disturb them. Then Venerable Anuruddha heard the Buddha's voice. Then he quickly told the gatekeeper, Please, let the Buddha come in. He is our teacher. Okay, let him come in. Then he quickly, Venerable Anuruddha, quickly called Venerable Kimbila and Venerable Nandiya. Please, 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 come. Our teacher is here. So they came, pay respect to the, um, receive, mm, receive the Buddha, pay respect, and then sit down. And the Buddha asked, um, Anuruddha, uh, how do you all stay together? He said, oh, we stay together with bodily acts of kindness, with verbal acts of kindness, with mental acts of kindness towards one another. And also, at the same time, I have the mind. What do I wish for if they are different from what the others are wish for? I will set aside my wish. I will follow my fellow friends' wish. Then there will be harmony, correct? 
Then they say, this is how we stay together, like blending with milk and water. So, you know, so harmony together. Then the Venerable Kimbila and Venerable Nandia, they totally agreed and they told, they answer back to the Buddha, they say, yes, this is how we show, we have the mutual appreciation, mutual understanding, right? And we live in concord, uh, following bodily acts of loving kindness, verbal acts of kindness, mental acts of kindness, generous, whatever we bring back, we share, right? And then we have the thoughts that whatever I wish for, I can set aside, but I follow the wish of the others. So there will be harmony among them. That's how they stay together, like blending with milk and water. That was in the Majima Nikaya 48 as well as 31. Yeah, if you, you can uh, go back and uh, very beautiful story when I read it, right? It's very, very encouraging and very inspiring how members, uh, how people in the, in the community can have these um, kind thoughts uh, in order to work together. So, conditions for no decline for us, can? Seven conditions lead to no decline of the society. No decline of the society and in our case, as well as the sasana. Yeah. We meet often, meet a great deal to discuss what needed to be done, how we can move forward, how we can achieve our vision, mission. Meet in harmony, conduct business in harmony, a joint meeting in harmony. Undertaking constitution, handbooks as they have been decreed. We follow the rules huh, and regulations. We honour, respect, venerate and do homage to everyone. Yeah, we respect everyone. Everyone is equal, equality. Yeah. Do not submit to the power of any arising craving. Um, in this case, right, we may say a rising of power crave. Yeah? Want to be more superior. Yeah? Want to uh, uh, do things differently yeah? in order to get, to get um, appreciation or to get praise or, or whatever. So this one, we do not submit. Yeah? Everyone work together. Everyone is important. See their own benefit in rendering service. I render service, I have, uh, I gain from that. And I also advise uh, or encourage others to render service. Then there will not be, uh, there will not lead to decline hmm, of the society and sasana. Uh, last one is to keep firmly in mind the welfare of fellow members, uh, like sister, uh, always uh, bring food for us when we have um, urgent, urgent work to do, have to work long hours, important work together to plan for Wesa Day or planning for important event, F fun fair, uh, food, 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 uh, FFF, yeah, FFF, yeah. Uh, that it's a uh, conditions for us right to work well in order for the event or the activities to have uh, to be successful so for us what do we reflect as buddhist uh, as a as a dharma dutta colleague since we are in buddhist and uh, buddhist um, society we have confidence in the buddha dharma and sangha Understanding the workings of the law of karma. Responsibility for our action. Three, understanding the three characteristics of conditioned assistance, impermanence, suffering, and non-self. We reflect 
it is impermanent. So sometimes things change, so we have to accept and find ways to resolve it. Yeah. And non-self. I think non-self is very important in a society as well. There is no self-identity. We work together for, for the society. We work together harmoniously for the sasana. So there is no I here, no self-identity here. Accept that facts, the facts that illness, decay, health are unavoidable so long as we are in the samsara. Nibbana is our final destiny. So we will be more diligent in our practice, in learning and uh, our practice. Yeah. So we always have metta, karuna, mudita, upeka. Always have this loving kindness for our colleagues. Yeah? Um, uh, sister mentioned some uh, rejoice, uh, rejoice and celebrate the success. Yeah? Karuna, compassionate, compassion for our friends. Sometimes they are not well, so we, we have to help, we help them yeah, to overcome this period of, um, of uh, illness or discomfort. So steps uh, we can take. We always remember we preserve well-being by living in harmony with the universal law governing mental and moral life. Understanding what is this universal law? Whatever good we do, good will come back. Whatever bad things, unwholesome, we do, we speak, we think, this unwholesome will come back to us. Yeah. The development of moral and ethical character. It's prerequisite uh, for working in harmony. Constantly practice mindfulness. Yeah. And the four great efforts. Four great efforts. If any unwholesome thoughts come in, we eradicate it. And we prevent the unwholesome from coming in. And, if they, uh, and um, always encourage the wholesome thoughts to come in. And if the wholesome thoughts are already there, make it even more. Huh? Enhance it, yeah? Enhance it, yeah? And increase our knowledge and skills. Knowledge in, the, in this case, Dharma knowledge and skills and knowledge also in um, doing whatever service that we need to do and the skills of doing it, the skills of carrying out the work, uh, carrying out the service. Yeah. Uh, I always like this uh, Ambalatika Rahula, Rahula Vadasutta because the Buddha advised his uh, son Rahula before, uh, uh, for our bodily, verbal, and mental, before we do it, think whether is it going to bring benefit to myself, to oneself, and to others. If it is not, then stay away. Don't do it. If already started to do, during the act, if reflect whether it is going to bring happiness, benefits, benefits to me, to others, or to both parties. If it is benefit, beneficial, bring happiness, bring welfare, then continue to do it. After doing it, if it is reflect, if it is welfare for beneficial, to myself, to others, and to both parties, then, okay, continue to do it the next time. But if it is not beneficial, then don't do it anymore. Stop doing it. So, always have the reflection before, during, and after. 
Okay. Venerable Thich Nhat Hanh, um, very uh, wise and um, uh, Zen master, he said this, he said, every, every breath we take, every step we make, it can be filled with peace, joy and serenity. It is our choice, right? If we want to, if we want joy, peace, then we, we, our mindfulness, uh, our mindfulness will prompt us, prompt us, and because of the mindfulness, it's already in our nature. Then we will continue to have this peace, joy, and serenity. If we don't have this mindfulness of wholesomeness, uh, and we have uh, the mindful, it's uh, unwholesome, then every set will be the reverse. So it is very important to have this mindfulness, cultivate our mindfulness, develop our mindfulness of the wholesomeness. And then it will become our nature. Once it's become our nature, it will become our habit. Once it's habitual, right? It's just automatic, right? It will just, oh, it just come out so naturally. Because if we are peaceful, then others also will be peaceful. And when we work together, right, we will also work very joyfully. We will very work very in, in harmony, in harm, and a lot of joy. So I would like to thank every one of you, uh, all uh, friends on Zoom also. Thank you all for sharing with us this time, the presence here to um, share, to listen to the Dharma from uh, the teaching of the Buddha. Okay? Uh, and may, may you all be well and peaceful, and may you too live in harmony with all beings, be it your family, your working, your working colleagues, your neighbours, your teachers, yeah, your students, all work together Bring joy and peace to the world. Yeah. Sad, sad, sad. Thank you.